In this problem, we are going to take five cards from a standard deck of 52 cards. And we want the probability that all of the cards are spades cards. So again, we're taking five cards from a standard deck, and we want the probability that they are all spades. So uh, the way to think about this is as follows. So if they're all spades, that means that the first one is a spade. And the second one is also a spade. And the third is a spade. And the fourth and the fifth. So the first is a spade, the second is a spade, the third is a spade, the fourth is a spade, and the fifth is a spade. And the key to at least uh, m mentally figuring this out is to realize that the word and is there. So you don't have to write it down, but as long as you know the word and is there, that tells you to multiply. So now we just do each individual probability and we multiply. So first we want the probability of picking a spade card. Well, there are 13 ways to pick a spade card and there are 52 ways to pick a card. So the probability of picking a spade card is the number of ways to pick a spade card divided by the number of ways to pick a card. And so the and tells you to multiply. We want the second card to be a spade card. Well, you've taken a spade card out, so now there are only 12 ways to pick a spade card, and then there are 51 ways to pick a card. And now the third one. So now there's only 11 spade cards and 50 cards. And the fourth one, so 10 over 49. And the very last one would be 9 over 48. So now uh, we just have to put this uh, huge fraction in our calculators. So I haven't done this problem yet, so I'm gonna type it into my calculator. And if you're typing it into your calculator also uh, during this moment, uh, it's really important to include the parentheses as I have uh, on the screen. Uh, without those parentheses uh, on many calculators, uh, you won't get the correct answer. So here we go, I'm about to hit enter. Just double checking that I've typed it in. Yes, that's what I thought we were gonna get. So my calculator says 4.95, then it has a bunch of decimals, and it says E negative four. So what that means is you take the decimal and you move it four places to the left. So doing that, let me use a different color, you'd get one, two, three, four, boom. So you get three zeros. So you get 0 .0000495. That's a really small probability, so it's very unlikely um, that you will get all spades uh, if you draw five cards. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.